Hey, this is Terratoots with a quick tutorial on using the Distance Shader in Terragen 4. The Distance Shader is a useful tool that allows you to control the placement of a shader or population by using the distance to a chosen camera. To demonstrate, let's look at the effect of the Distance Shader on a simple colored surface layer. I've added a new surface layer to this scene and colored it green so we can see it more easily. Suppose that we want the green color to only start a certain distance away from the camera. We can achieve this by checking the Mask by Shader box, and then creating a new distance shader. You'll notice immediately that we've created a clear area around the camera. Let's open our distance shader to take a closer look at what's going on. By default, the distance shader uses the view in the 3D preview for its calculations. The first thing I'm going to do here is assign the distance shader to calculate distance from the render camera which will let us move the preview up here for a better view. We'll also open the shader preview window. The near and far distances control where the shader begins to fade in. For example, let's set the far distance to 500 and the near distance to 300. Now we can see that at 300 meters, the green color starts to fade in, and by 500 meters, the terrain is fully green. Moving the two numbers farther apart softens the transition, while bringing them closer together makes it sharper. The near and far colors can be used to flip the direction of the distance shader. For example, if we set the far color to 0 and the near color to 1, you'll now see that we have a circle of green around the camera. By default, the distance shader works in a sphere around the camera, but if we'd like a straight line, we can use Z-Depth mode. One final tip is to use the 3D Preview Location window, located in the View menu. If we switch back to the Render camera, we can use this window to get the distance from the camera to any point in the scene, which is useful for tuning distance shaders. Once your distance shader is set up, it can be used as a mask or density shader for any other shader or population. Some examples, keeping trees away from the camera in a forest, controlling cloud positioning, or fading a grass population into a color shader as it gets farther from the viewport.